Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I am going to show you a small die hack. After watching this video you can check your alternator and a car battery yourself. Right, okay. Then let me continue the video now. You can see this is my usual vehicle Nissan FB14 manufacturing year is 1996 and equipped with an engine GA15DE. So in this engine you can see here in this side we have the battery and now with the battery here you can see another gadget what is this one this is a multimeter and in this multimeter you have four regions one thing is DC voltage and the other one is AC voltage alternating current voltage and here DC MP region means direct current MP value and in this side you have uh, ohms, the symbol of ohms, ohms symbol means for the resistance. Now, you all know when we are talking about a car battery, car battery has 12 voltage, 12 and the maximum possible voltage is 14.5 in the usual car battery. Now, in my car battery, again, we have 12 voltage. Now, First of all, I am going to check this car battery. So, in order to check this 12 volt car battery, I have selected 20 range here in DC volts, 20 range because we know the car battery's voltage should be around 10, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, maximum 14.5 or 6, 15. Above 15 is overcharging, that is no good for a battery. and below 11.8 is considered as battery is dead that means it means in a 12 volt battery if the battery is fully charged the voltage should be 12.7 volts 12.7 volts and 12.7 12.6 12.5 are okay and 12.3 3 is barely okay for the start of the vehicle for a 1005 engine petrol car okay now first of all let me check my voltage my car battery's voltage then we will see the condition after starting the vehicle so when i am going to check this one as i mentioned you earlier i have i have taken 20 range here in dc voltage now let me attach these leads the color wire for the negative terminal this is for the negative side and red color one is for the positive side okay right now in this case i can see the reading is 12.3 12.31 130 actually i have to tell you this is a cheaper multimeter this is not highly accurate but i'm sure this is accurate in at least 95 percent this is accurate i am sure so this is 12.31 it means this battery is barely okay however i have not started this vehicle for the last two days now let me start the vehicle and check the condition and before starting the vehicle let me show you something else in this battery you can see there is a small side glass here in this glass as in this glass there is an indicator in this indicator there should be three colors if this indicator if the inside is green this battery is okay charge is okay if the inside is white it means in my case you can see inside the battery is white now it means needs charging so if the inside of this one is red it means you have had some fluids that raise it okay right now see in my case it is it needs charging and you can see the reading is also lower than the standard value it means i told you if the battery is fully charged it should be 12.7 volts okay right now what i am going to do is start the vehicle and change, check the condition
Okay, right. Usually, when I am starting the vehicle, the voltage value should go down. However, unfortunately, I can't show you. But after one or two minutes time, it should come back to the original value. We'll see. Let me start the vehicle and show you the condition. Okay, guys, now I'm going to start the engine, then we will see the condition of the voltage. Okay, right. Now I think you can you can hear the sound of the engine. Then let me show you the voltage condition. Luckily, in this case, now I am having 14.4. 14.4 volts it means this is totally enough right the alternator charge for the alternator supply voltage is totally enough it means easily we can charge this battery now because if the battery is 12 volt definitely we must know we have to add the charge it means we have to give a higher pressure for the charge right this is 14.4 I am having this current from the alternator right you can see this is my alternator right this is my alternator alternator gives me 14.4 in idling speed so now it means the alternator is okay in idling speed now now let me show you the condition with the maximum load. What is the maximum load? It means now you can identify this alternator gives you the voltage for the required current and it is used for charging the battery and also for the fuel ignition system basically in this system. For the sparking plants and for the fuel injectors. In so, apart from that, what are the other electric loads can be applied in this vehicle? Let me show you. Let me show you. Now, in this case, still I am having 14.3. It is okay. More than 14 is totally okay. No any worries. And with the headlights and ACs on, we will see the condition. Because for headlights and for ACs, there will be a greater current drawn from the system okay let me show you now i am switching on my headlights yes headlight is in full condition and i just started my ac in the full blast you can see right then let me show you then I have to check the reading right. now see when the AC is on you can see here both fans are working right so both fans should work in this model both fans are working when the AC is on now see the condition of the motor of the alternator right is still i am having a charge voltage of 14 volts 14 volts yes 14 13.9 actually the condition is if you have 1005 engine uh, 1500 cc engine with a 12 volt battery with the maximum load you should get at least 13.8 volts to the battery 13.8 now in my case I am fortunate enough to get 13.9 volts it means even with the lights on even with AC in full blast I am having a sufficient enough voltage for charging my battery it means totally my alternator is okay right Okay guys, now I think you might have identified the required components, the responsible components and you might learn something. So please don't forget to like, give me a like, give me a share and subscribe this channel. Thank you. I will meet you with another.
चाय वीडियो सॉन्ग थैंक यू